New York, New York, the Big Apple. I was just there the other day and I wanted to share a couple of things with you. I went to the New York Stock Exchange. Pretty cool place. I mean, the security in New York today is unbelievable. I mean, you got to go through all kinds of security things and have your photo ID. It's kind of like getting on an airplane on steroids, actually, with regards to the exchange, at least. I wanted to share some stuff with you. As I've said, it used to be 90% of all the trade and commerce went through the exchange in America, probably in the whole world. Today, it's down to 20% based on digital stuff. Stuff, right? There used to be 5,000 people that worked at the New York Stock Exchange, and now there's 500. Lots of empty uh, office space down there. There's not as many tourists either, but you know what? It's kind of fun still to go to. I mean, the loud kind of auction stuff going on, you know, all that flavor is gone now, but the people are great, and I really enjoyed it. Wanted to share some other stuff with you, too, about New York City. The subway system is the largest uh, trans transit, I'll get it, system in the entire world, has 468 stations and 842 miles of track. I know that because I was there and there was a big sign up and told me that and I wanted, to, wanted you to know it too. What other thing? I was riding in a cab and I was in the back seat. It, it occurred to me that these cab drivers forever in New York City have had this security kind of thing up, right? And airplanes didn't until 9-11 and then of course they started to do it and used to be able to get up with a pilot but you could never sit with a cab driver in New York. Figured that one out. Then you have this little sign up in the back that says if you assault a driver it's punishable by up to 25 years in prison. <laughs> really? That sounds a little extreme but that's kind of what it is. Other things in New York, I went to visit several people in offices in, in many different places in New York and each and every place was just like the exchange with regard to security. Wow, I mean, there's armed people everywhere and you gotta have your photo ID and you gotta go through security, even take your shoes off. In some office places, you now have to kind of change what you do in terms of your timing, right? You gotta make all kinds of adjustments. It's good though, you feel pretty safe in New York City, I wanna tell you. Now, jumping over to a person who used to live in Washington, D.C. in the big house, the White House, Michelle Obama. She said this just the other day, any woman who voted against Hillary Clinton, which obviously would mean you had to have voted for Trump, right? Voted against their own voice. Okay, she's kind of a typical liberal, eh? You know, she's condescending and she's telling you how to think, how to act, and how dare you not do what I do. I mean, this woman, I mean, good bloody grief. That's just terrible. What she just said is, is half of all American women are out of step. They're dumb, they're stupid, but half of them did vote for Trump. Bad, bad. Leftism, I mean, it's forever, I guess. You just can't fix stupid. I used to think you could, but you really can't. In Kelowna, British Columbia, recently I was on a hike. And it was up a mountain called Knox Mountain. And they have a big sign up there that kind of made me chuckle. I wanted to share with you this. A lot of Sherrod going on here today. It says the Okanagan Valley. A sheet of ice up to 7,000 feet in elevation covered the valley for many, many years. The weight and abrasion of the ice molded into the hills and the hill 8,000 years ago. Somebody better call Al Gore. You gotta get some carbon taxes or something going on because climate change, it happened even back then. Who would have thunk it? Oh my, hey, President Trump. He's now talking about, now talking, he's always talking about the leader in North Korea, the little wee rocket man. I like that name, <laughs> rocket man. You almost want to sing about that poor little guy. I got visions of what's going to happen to him. He says, being nice to rocket man hasn't worked in 25 years. Why would it work now? Hey, Clinton failed, Bush failed, Obama failed. I ain't going to fail. That's strong talk, you know. I wonder what's going to happen next. I mean, I can laugh about it and smile, but what is the solution? Is there one? Probably just bzzzed. I, I don't know, but, but, but it's been going on for so long. It's kind of nice to have a guy talk tough, but talk ain't enough. Talk's cheap, takes money to buy whiskey. The CNN headline is, is that North Korea is confused by Trump, and they're contacting ex-former U.S. officials. <laughs> First, there's no confusion. Uh, based on what Trump has already said, get out of line anymore and smarten up or else zzzz, see you later. Kind of be will be an oil slick over there. But, but now they're saying we don't understand it. There ain't no confusion. Talk to ex-former ones. I guess, because with them, you're kind of safe because all you did was talk. We're hoping that all the talk is going to be over pretty soon and you all come back here tomorrow. I got more talk for you from the right. See ya.